Today, I'm gonna be sending Miss Lemons and a bunch of other criminals to jail. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Draw the Criminal. I have not played this game in a long time, but it's a lot of fun, and I figured I would come back. So let's go to the next case. My goal today, I wanna send Miss Lemons to jail because she's killed me so much this week. So let's see. I'm not gonna do Miss Lemons yet. I'm gonna save her for a little bit later, but let's start off with the clumsy clown because it just sounds funny. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more Draw the Criminal, I could definitely come back. All right, here we go. So basically, if you've never seen this game, they make you draw the criminal, and then you have to pick them out of a lineup and try to pick the right criminal. So this person has a red nose. So right now, we're just gonna play the game the way it's supposed to be played. So we're gonna go nice big red nose. Remember, this person is a clumsy clown. The person had light blue clothes on, okay? I'm just gonna draw, um, Let's do this. I've never been very good at artwork, so I apologize in advance. That's gonna be the shirt. It's a little short, but you know what? That's totally fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's your light blue shirt. Oh my gosh, Brandon. If somebody walked around... <laughs> could you imagine if there was a person that looked like this? All right, come on. Moving on. And uh, they did not have a perfect smile. I. What does that mean? They're missing teeth? I don't really know what that means. I'm gonna draw... Uh, a mouth, oh gosh, oh my goodness gracious, and uh, one of the teeth is missing right there. Oh, please don't tell me that's it. Oh, that's it, okay. <laughs> Could you imagine being a police officer and you're handed that card? It's like, hey, this is the guy we're looking for. He looks like some sort of a monster alien. All right, so basically, person has a blue shirt. So if they don't have a blue shirt, they're definitely not the criminal. They also have a red nose, so it's not that guy. Uh, this person doesn't really have a blue shirt, although it's kind of dark blue. Uh, and they're missing teeth. Oh, it might be this lady. It might be this lady, but let's come back. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. This person might have a blue shirt. This person might have a blue shirt. They might just have like a brown jacket over it. Oh my gosh. Wait, was it blue shirt or blue skirt? I made that mistake last time. I thought it was shirt, but it was skirt. Oh no, I'm totally gonna get this person wrong. Keep in mind, if I get it wrong, it means that I send someone that was innocent to jail. So other than that, you know, there's no stakes here. Oh, this guy's got a blue shirt. He's got a red nose, but I can't tell if he's missing teeth. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna assume that it was blue skirt, not blue shirt. This person also has the red nose and is missing a smile or missing a teeth, a tooth. Come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, okay. Thank goodness gracious, I know that I can't read. If I didn't know that I couldn't read, I would have thought it was shirt, not skirt. Wow, I currently have nine people in my jail. Like I said, I have played this game before. Y you think you'd start sending people to new cells? Like right now, I have a jail. It's one jail cell with nine people inside. You would, it's gonna get pretty smelly in there. Okay, I can upgrade my police station. Bam! Hey, I got a certificate of completion. I don't really know what I completed, but I completed it. Let's move on to the next case. What do we have here? The wet bandit, the missing blood, or the sandwich shop shootout. I think I'm gonna go with missing blood. That sounds kind of creepy. The attacker was scary, dressed in black. Okay, so we're gonna draw uh, a black shirt and uh, I don't, I don't know. What are we gonna draw for their face? Let's go, um, we're just gonna go, we're gonna go with the black shirt for now. Just a black shirt. Uh, they had short hair. Yeah, just like kind of a short little hairdo like that. And come to think of it, they looked like a vampire. Okay, so you know, <laughs> this is a little crazy, this game. This game is a little crazy. So we're gonna give them a mouth with fangs like that. Okay, that seems pretty good. That's much better than my last drawing. Just wait until I draw Miss Lemons. That's gonna be the best drawing so far. Okay, this dude does not have fangs. He also doesn't have short hair, so let's move on. No, 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 no. Oh, this guy, this guy. He's got short hair, he's wearing black, and he's got fangs. I'm gonna look at the other ones just to be safe, but I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 oh. I almost sent this guy to jail for no reason. Let's go back, it's gotta be this dude. It's gotta be this dude, come on, come on. Yes! 
Yes, let's add a tenth person to my jail cell right now. Oh my gosh. I mean, you could like fill an entire basketball stadium with the amount of people in my one jail cell. And I unlocked a new, um, I guess you would call that like a detective. <laughs> All right, what do we have now? Uh, let's go with the very stinky villain. Oh, this is going to be good. So this guy's going to smell like poop. All right, the villain had buttons on his top. Okay, let's go with red buttons. I don't know what color the buttons are, but we're gonna go with red buttons. Yeah, three red buttons right there. Kind of looks like the guy's bleeding, but you know what? We're gonna ignore that. His clothes had green stripes, okay? So we've got buttons and green stripes, just like that. Again, I'm the worst artist in the history of art, but you guys are gonna have to bear with me here. And last but not least, they smelled awful. Okay, instead of the green stripes, we're gonna have, um green smell coming off of their shoulders. Yeah, it was just their shoulders that smelled. I don't know why. Maybe they forgot to put on deodorant that day. Okay, this dude's got... No, 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 no. He doesn't have the buttons. This person does have the buttons, but they don't have green stripes. Buttons, but no green stripes. I'm looking for green stripes. None of them have buttons and green stripes. Oh, no. See, they're probably wearing a jacket that's covering their shirt, so I can't see that. Let's look for... Oh, wait. This person kind of has green stripes. Is it stripes if it goes horizontal? I guess it would be. So this person has green stripes and they smell, but they don't have buttons down their shirt. It's got to be... Wait a second. Okay, well, now I'm confused, okay? Oh, this person has green stripes on their legs and they have buttons and they smell. It's got to be this, this guy. It's got to be this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Guilty! Yeah! Adding an 11th person to my jail cell. I've been perfect today. Oh, man, that dude is going to smell the entire jail cell. I feel bad for the 10 other people in that very small space. Uh-oh, what's going on? World's smallest heist. Oh, so after a certain amount of time, I can let my inmates go if I think they're actually um, reformed and have now turned into good people. So what has this person done? They've never tried to escape. They've been on time for visitors, and they've played a lot of basketball. That sounds good. Yeah, you know what? We're going to let this person out of jail. Mostly just to make room for Miss Lemons that's about to go in jail. They're happy, and I made the right decision. And now I can upgrade my jail cell again, or my police station, or whatever you want to call this crazy place. I got... What did I get? I don't even know what I got. What did I get? Handcuffs? How did I not have that to begin with? I was running a jail and I didn't have any handcuffs? That seems like a problem. Moving on to the next case. We're gonna go, oh my gosh, the taco shop tussle. I also kind of want to go wet bandit. You know what? We're gonna make Miss Lemons the wet bandit because lemons are kind of, you know, wet. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with a reason to pick the wet bandit. But for right now, we're gonna go with the taco shop tussle. Here we go. We've got uh, a description number one. The attacker's hair was middle parted and short. Okay, what's this person gonna look like a taco? Is this person gonna have a taco for a head? All right, so they've got middle parted and short. So let's go like black hair and it's gonna be kind of like that and like that. Oh my gosh, that's so t Actually, you know what? That's not that bad. That is probably the best drawing of a description I have had today. I mean, it's not saying much because my drawing is terrible, but that's not terrible. Let's move on. Next description, they got, they, they got punched in the mouth? What kind? How do I draw that? How do I draw the fact that they got punched in the mouth? What? Uh, you know what? Fine. I'll just I'll just put a little bit of blood on the corner of their face. They're bleeding because they got punched in the mouth. I don't know. Maybe I should have drawn a fist uh, like attached to their mouth. I'm not sure. They had one big eyebrow. Oh, no. That's going to look a lot like my parted hair. Let's just go with a brown eyebrow. And it's going to be a big unibrow right there. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a rough one. Okay, that guy does not have parted hair. This person does have parted hair, but they don't have a unibrow. Actually, they do have a unibrow, but it doesn't really look like they got punched in the face. Although again, I don't know what they looked like before. So maybe this person did get punched in the face. I don't know. Let's move on. No, it's definitely not that. No, it's definitely not that. Oh... 
it could be this person because they do have parted hair, they do have a unibrow, and they're missing a tooth. Maybe the missing of the tooth means they got punched? I, I got my eye on that person right there. This person does not have short hair. This person does not have parted hair. No, 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 no. It's got to be this guy. It's got to be this guy right here. Arrest and... Uh, yeah! Oh, I'm proud of myself. That was a pretty good one. Okay, now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We're gonna go with the wet bandit, and we're gonna draw Miss Lemons and send her to jail right now. So it's been raining that day. I'm going to ignore that and just draw a lemon. I also do have a small picture of Miss Lemons off over here, so that's gonna be helping me a little bit. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna go around there, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go around there. Okay, that's, uh, oof, that's not a, not a great lemon, but you know what? I've drawn worse. I have drawn worse. Let's start filling in this lemon. This is probably gonna take me a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if that looks like a lemon, but we're going to have to use our imagination. Let's go to the next description. The bandit was wearing a coat. Um... Nah, we're gonna draw Miss Lemon's eyes. So she's got two oval eyes like that, and also like that, and they're white eyes, and then inside, she's got kind of like pink eyeballs, so we're gonna go there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm so bad at drawing, why am I so bad at drawing? And then we're gonna go there. Oh my goodness gracious, this is even worse than the last eyeball. And then she's got two little pupils right there and right there. Okay, okay. Oh, and don't forget about her light blue glasses. So she's got glasses that kind of go like that and also like that. Okay, this isn't that bad. I mean, it's terrible, but you have to know this is me drawing it. Okay. So far, so gooey. Let's move on to the last description. And she wore purple. Um, nah. We're just gonna draw her nose and mouth. Okay, so nose is just kind of like a little... Huh? Yeah, that's... Oh, wait. Let's undo that. It's more of like a little... Her. No, that's even worse. Let's undo it again. Uh, it's more of a... Here. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's really bad. And then her mouth is just kind of like a little smirk with a little thing, and her, she's got a little chin. Okay, you know what? That's actually not that bad. This might be the greatest drawing I've ever had in my life. So here we go, let's move on. Problem is I don't remember what the actual three descriptions of the people are, and I have a feeling none of them are going to look like a lemon. So here we go. I'm pretty sure the first one was like, it looked like it rained. So it's probably gonna be someone with these like droplets of water coming off them. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, all right. Well, five of them are wet. What was the next one again? Oh, I don't remember. Something about a jacket. Was it a purple jacket? I think it was a purple jacket. Okay, so it's not that dude. Uh, this That's a blue jacket. That's a pink one. It might be, you know what? It might be this person. It might be that person. Oh, but they might have just said they were wearing purple. I think it was purple, not pink. I'm gonna arrest this person. Please be a secret Miss Lemons. No! Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.